Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import LinkedIn profile info into Airtable using the data fetcher extension and also the proxy curl API. So proxy curl is a tool that allows you to perform tasks such as looking up people and companies to gain their contact information as well as enriching profiles and various other information as well. So proxy curl does use a credit system for billing and each lookup for a person will cost two credits. So what we're going to be able to do today is take LinkedIn profile URLs and from that information, we are then going to import information such as their title, their profile pic, their LinkedIn headline, and also their summary, all into our Airtable base. So in order to begin, come back to your Airtable base and we're going to retitle the table as people. Just up here, table one, double click on that and retitle it like so and select save. Then we're going to update one of the fields that we have here simply by double clicking on the title and we're going to change this to say LinkedIn profile like so and from the drop down menu we're going to select URL then select save. Great, we can then delete these other two here. We won't be needing these. And now we're ready to add in the LinkedIn profile URLs that we would like to import the data for. So go ahead and paste yours in like that. And then we're going to create a new grid view. So down on the left hand side, you'll see this grid option. Click on the plus button and retitle this as needs info. Then select create new view. And as you can see, we arrive into this new view as this is highlighted like so. Now we're going to add a filter. So we want to select add condition and we want for this to read where name is empty from that drop down menu. Then select add condition again and LinkedIn profile is not empty. Great. Once you have those chosen, you can now see this is highlighted in green. Now it's time to install Data Fetcher. So we're going to head over to the Extensions tab up in the right hand corner, select that, click on Add an Extension, and then we're going to search for Data Fetcher in the search bar at the top right hand corner, just like so, and then select Add. Click Add Extension. And now we'll arrive to the following screen where you can either create a free Data Fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. This is where we import our data. So select create your first request and from the drop down menu, we are looking for proxy curl. So you can just search that. Then you will need an API key from your proxy curl account. So in order to do this, you will need to sign up for a proxy curl account just up here in the top right hand corner of their website. And then you'll be directed to where your API keys are. And it's just under proxy curl API and you have API key there. Now, if you can't find this on the website, we do also have a link with all of this information on our website as well under the exact same title as this video. And here you can see you will need to copy your API key, which you can find here. So you can just simply click on that button and it will direct you to the right place. So once you have your API key, you can paste it into that API key box. And for the endpoint, we're going to select full person profiles for LinkedIn person profile URLs. Now that you've done that, it is time to retitle this request. So we're going to title this as fetch LinkedIn person profiles, just like so, and then select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now the following screen will load. Under LinkedIn person profile URL, you want to select the plus button over to the right hand side so we can insert a reference to our LinkedIn person profile URL field. So this will pop up and as you can see under table, people should be selected and for field, we're going to select LinkedIn profile. This will now appear and you do want to check that run for every record in view is selected as needs info then select confirm. Great. As you can see, this now changes how it looks in the input box. So it should look like this. Then for fallback to cache, having this set means data fetcher can retrieve older information if an error occurs when fetching the profile data. So this information comes from LinkedIn, which is proxy curls database of LinkedIn data. Then underneath this, we have the use cache option. So we have two choices here. If present, 
fetches data from LinkedIn cache regardless of the age of the profile. If recent, costs an extra one credit and fetches data no older than 29 days. So you can leave this as the default if present for this tutorial, like so. Then we want to make sure the output table and view reads as people and needs info. And then we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner before selecting continue. Now we arrive to the response field mapping. This is where we can decide which of these fields we would like to have included into our Airtable base. As you can see, there are quite a few here, so we can simply switch them all off by clicking filter all like so, and then we can choose which of these we would like to include. So for this example, we are going to select profile picture, which you have just here. And we do want for this to map to a new field with the type attachment that has happened automatically. So you don't need to do anything here. Then we can also use the find field search bar to find anything else that we'd like to include. So we're going to search up here for full name, just like so. And this is going to map to the existing field and from the drop down menu, we want to select name. Then we're going to search for headline just up here. That will appear and we do want that to go to the new field headline and the same for summary. Perfect. Once you have those selected, click on the save and run button in the bottom right hand corner. And now these fields are being created. Select show output table. And don't panic if you arrive here and nothing has appeared, you just need to change back to the grid view. And as you can see, that has now imported all of that information that we have requested. Really cool. So this is amazing, but at the moment we would currently need to run the data fetcher request each time we add new information to Airtable to look up new LinkedIn profile data. It is, however, possible for all of this to happen automatically by using Data Fetcher's trigger feature. So triggers let you automatically run a request whenever a change is made to an Airtable record. For example, when a new record is created, updated, deleted, or enters a view. In order to do this, we want to open up this extensions button again, and this will automatically pop up to where we have been working already. If you open this up now, you can see all of those settings that we've already included. And now we're going to scroll down. Here you will see schedule, trigger, and webhook URL as options. If you don't have this view, you will need to update your data fetcher account to a paid version. In order to do that, you can head over to our data fetcher website and you can upgrade your account there. Once you've done that, which I really recommend that you do so that you can have everything running automatically with all of your records up to date without you having to do a thing, then you can come back and you should now see these options like so. We're going to select on the trigger option and then we want to click authorize. This option allows you to grant data fetcher access to your Airtable data. So you want to select, I understand, let's authorize. Then here you want to select add a base and click on all current and future bases in all current and future workspaces, then select grant access. Now you will see a new option appear. We want for this to read, run this request when record created and for the table, select people. And again, for the view, we want to select needs info. Then we're going to select the save button in the bottom right hand corner. And now every time you add a new LinkedIn profile URL in the needs info view, Data Fetcher will automatically populate the name, the profile picture, headline, and summary field by importing the data from LinkedIn. So you can go ahead and close this window over. So now that we have that trigger set, we are going to go ahead and add in a new piece of data. So in the LinkedIn profile URL, we're gonna just paste in another URL that we would like to import the data from into our Airtable base from LinkedIn. Now, as you can see, this is now populating into our Airtable base. 
and automatically the rest has now populated as well. So you can see how incredible it is to use this trigger with data fetchers extension. It essentially means that all of your records are kept up to date and you never have to rerun the request. It just happens automatically like you see here. So it means that you can just work in your Airtable base and if you paste it in any other LinkedIn profile URLs, all of that information would just come with the profile picture, the headline, the summary and the name automatically. So hopefully today you have learned how to import LinkedIn profile info into Airtable using the data fetcher extension with proxy curl and you've now learned also how to make these requests run automatically using data fetchers triggers but if you do have any questions you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where we also have a blog on this exact topic for you to learn that way as well thank you so much for taking the time to learn today i really hope you have a good one